I watched all the Rocky movies, I watched all the Jean-Claude Van Damme movies, I watched all the, the old Bruce Lee movies, I watched them all. I was real competitive. I played, uh, you know, I played baseball, I played football, all through, high, all through junior high and high school, and uh, right when, I think my sophomore year, I started boxing. There was an amateur boxing club in my town, I joined up and fell in love with it. I had uh, it was like 17 fights, and then I had one professional boxing match. And then I just transitioned into MMA and stuck with that. I went into a jiu-jitsu gym, per se. I mean, it was an MMA gym, but it was more based upon jiu-jitsu. And, you know, I, I fell in love with it because the first day I went there, I got choked out by a, b a bunch of different techniques I've never seen before. So then right away, I was drawn to it. Yeah, definitely. When I, when I was boxing, I was younger, and it was more boxing out of... You know, I still had a little. I still had a lot of adrenaline in there when I was boxing, and you're young, and and you just you just want to get through. It's it's probably the most nerve-wracking thing you've done at that age. Now that I've had so many fights, I've had over 50 fights. I've been in there. I fought all over the world. I fought some of the best fighters in the world. It's to me, it's just to get in there. It's an, it's another day. It's not, you know, it's it's just something for me to get out there and express what I've learned and what I've been training and compete. Still, I, I mean, if I can, if my body's gonna let me, I'm still gonna compete. I think not, not everyone's a fighter not, or whatsoever. There's a, there's a ton of great athletes that could be good fighters and, and could do good in the gym, but could probably never do good in a fight because they don't have the heart or the determination or the fire inside. It takes a certain individual to have that and, and not too many people have that. And that's the beauty of MMA is, is there's so many people that think they do and get in there and try it, but only so many people can rise to the top. You know, it's a, it's a martial art, it's a beauty. It's, it's to get in there and to train for something for you know, anywhere from two to three to four months sometimes and only have 15 to 25 minutes for all those days and all those hours and all that sweat and all that sacrifice on, on your diet and the way you live your life and, and the way you wake up in the morning to what time you go to bed. All, all that coming to, you know, just 15 minutes. 15 minutes is what you've got to perform. That's, that's an incredible sport. It's it, just the aspect of fighting and training is kind of like, it, it helps me. It's like a, a relief for me because I'm a very angry person inside. And if I don't have something to get my anger out on and to release my anger, it'll build up and within one week I'll be a completely different person. So being in the gym every day is like a stress release for me and I need it because I'm, you know, I'm probably, you know, a little unstable without being able to compete and, and, and fight. I was probably angry when I was two years old. I'm just, that's just me. I'm just, you know, I'm an asshole and I know it, but you know, I, I love MMA and it's my way of basically, you know, being another person. Because I'm a, I'm a real good friend. If you're good to me, I'm good to you. I'll give you the shirt off my back. Um, I'm very competitive. If you say you can beat me at checkers, let's play. If you say you can beat me at this, prove it. I don't care what it is. I, I, whether it be a fight, whether it be drinking a beer, whether it be a race, I don't, we'll, we'll just find out. I'm just, I'm competitive by nature. Um, I have two daughters that I drive that competitiveness into them. I just, I, I feel like that's, if you want to reach a certain level in life, that you need to be competitive no matter what you're into, no matter if it's a, a desk job, no matter if it's, you know, you're an athlete, no matter if, if you're working at the mall, if, if you're into politics, if you're working at the bank, you should always strive to be something better in life. I'm most, most proud of in my life, to be honest with you, is, is being a father of, of two beautiful kids and, and having a good life and, and, and having a, a good wife at home. And, and having a good home and, and just living a good normal life. From the life that I grew up in and being crazy and wild and all over the place and seeing how my parents grew up to see how, how my life is, is so much different than what my life was growing up and how I spend time with my kids every day. Every day I spend time with them and we do things and, and we're real active and real athletic and, and just what we do and, and what I've accomplished in life in MMA. I mean, I've done things that that millions of people only wish that they could do. I've traveled the world, I've fought all over the world, I've fought the best fighters all over the world. It's